Stepping into season two, you know, what, how do we see Penelope and Eloise's relationship evolve this season? So it's really interesting because obviously they love and adore each other. I mean, they are soul sisters, they're best friends, but their relationship gets more complicated. A lot because Penelope is lying to her all the time. And also she has a business to run. And a lot of her business is walking around balls and hearing little tidbits of information. And the Eloise is like glued to her, they're glued at the hip. And then Penelope goes, oh, this is an, this is an issue. So it's, you know, it's sort of that tension sort of building and then, you know, Penelope needing Eloise to think Whistledown is great and it sort of, yeah, it sort of builds and builds and builds. I was sharpening my knives for all, all of, you. of you. When it comes to the end of this season, like how will it impact viewers and maybe even play into season three? I think it's going to have a big impact. I know when I was watching the final episode, my heart was racing throughout the whole thing. I was like, I felt sick and nervous. I think a lot happens and I think it set up really well. Like when I finished the final episode, I went, oh, I really want to watch season three now. And I was like, well, that's good because I'm in it. And I'm sort of, like, it can already be removed enough that I'm like, I really want to know what happens next. I think people are going to be, yeah, ready Amazing. for season three. Yeah. Is that so? How has your life just changed and been impacted by being a part of such a phenomenal series? I mean, it's crazy. It, it, it is a lot and it's hard to sort of get your head around. But what is funny that we started filming season two, three months after season one came out and we were still in like a global lockdown. So we didn't like see any of the world. Everything was just like numbers on a screen and you're going, okay, sounds amazing, but doesn't feel real, sure. And then it's only recently we've been sort of out in the, the real world. And, you know, I was in the States in, in January on holiday and then people there would sort of be like, oh, you, Bridgerton, you go, whoa, okay. I'm like halfway across the world and you know who I am. And okay, wow, like, it's very strange. And then talking to like Kim Kardashian on, on DMs and meeting like Drew Barrymore and all of this stuff, it's, it's super crazy. So your DMs are popping is what you're saying. <laughs> Yes. It goes down in the DMs. Yes, I love this. Wait, wait. Okay, you named Kim Kardashian, but like, who is the person who has shocked you the most that has messaged you about your character and the show? Oh gosh. I mean, I feel like she's she's definitely up there. I feel like one of the craziest ones we haven't DM'd, but that followed me on Instagram and I didn't even realize was uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. My friends oh, were like, "Do you know she follows you?" I was like, "No, she does not. She does not." I texted. I was like, "What?" And then you're like, oh God, I really better not post anything boring. Imagine if she unfollows me and then I'll just never cope. I don't. <laughs> That's so fun. And I mean, we already know that there's going to be another season, but how cool would it be if we brought in, just because you guys do mix some pop culture into mm -hmm. the Bridgerton series, it'd be so cool if you brought someone in like that. You know, oh, just, can you imagine? Just to walk by. You know, they don't even have oh. to say anything. So then people are like, wait, did I just see Sarah Jessica Park? Did I just see? Oh, I know. I keep thinking like Billy Porter would be amazing. So I'm like, imagine Billy Porter in like the Queen's court as like the Queen's dress designer or something. In I feel like I'm speaking it into existence. I just want it to happen. <laughs> it's happening. They will play this interview on loop because we yeah. put it we yeah. put it out there. Are you surprised at the movement and the impact that Bridgerton has had on pop culture and just entertainment and even a new reality show? It's absolutely bonkers. We, I mean, you go into making a show, you really have no idea the idea whether people will even watch it. Honestly, I mean, we thought, you know, it's, it's Shonda Rhimes. We were like, I'm sure some people will tune in. You know, she's got a pretty good track record. But at the same time, it, it, it became, it's become a phenomenon in a way that I don't think any of us ever expected. And, you know, to, there to be like, you know, as you said, Bridgerton makeup and shoes and soap and reality show. It's like, it, yeah, it's, it's really hard to get your head around. I can't believe it. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.